But I'm going to give an overview of how to actually add IP cameras onto your network. In this particular case, what we have is a four channel NVR that's connected to the switch. And into the switch, we're going to connect in our three IP cameras that we see in front of us here. Now, uh, we're add, adding three cameras at the one time uh, for two purposes. Number one, to show what's possible, but number two, uh, to show the whole issue of IP conflicts and um, how to actually resolve them and address them. So you'll note here that I have a little name that's put on each of these cameras. So this camera here and this camera here have both been called default. And the reason I've called them default is they're going with their default IP addresses. Where if we come along and we look at this camera here, it has the name change. And with this one, I've actually brought it over to the PC and I've changed the IP address on it. So it's different than the other two cameras. And finally here, before we go to our setup, I'm just going to show here that on each of these cameras, there's actually a serial number here in the bottom. And I'm just going to reference this at a later point in the video. In this picture one that I've changed, it's 0046 is the end of the serial number. So I'll just leave this here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start off by connecting the power in. So this is the first power. So this is coming off a 12 volt, 2 amp power supply. And this is all three hammers are running off a single power supply. Now we connected three power leads. I'll now come along and get three Ethernet cables. So I'll grab this cable here. And I'll come along and I'm just connect it into this first camera. I'll grab the next Ethernet cable, click it in, and just once again click it into the next one. And then repeat the process for the final camera. Okay? So it's very simple. And you can see here that we have our network port here, it's connected in. So the first thing you'll note here, we're not getting any picture on the screen. So what we need to do next is we simply need to get our mouse and right click. And we bring up, and the third last option is remote device. So we click on the remote device, and uh, once again, there's nothing listed, so we need to do an IP search. So we're searching for devices on the network here. So it comes along here, and we can ignore the first two ports, but it actually does find three devices here. So what it is here is um, uh, the three cameras, obviously. So we'll just note here, first of all, anyway. We'll see there's um, IP addresses, port numbers, and um, device names. So the port numbers are the same. Uh, the device name, you remember here that the one that had changed IP address is ended in 0046 was the device name. And if we look, of course, we'll see that the IP address for it is 192.168.1.175. Um, and if we look at the other two cameras where we haven't changed the IP address, both have identical IP addresses, 192.168.1.108 in the case of each. So what we're going to do here is we're simply going to select those three cameras to say, I'd like to be able to view all three of them and click Add. So it's telling me the current IP address and TC port already exists. P uh, please put input again. So that we'll just look down here and we'll see here that the, the added devices here. So we know we have three cameras, but how many devices have been added? And we can see here that only two uh, devices have been added. And if we're just looking at the status here, we can see the status is flicking between on the first one, which has our um, non-conflicted IP address, 175, is permanently green. And of course, it's this camera here. I put my hand in front of it just to show it's that one. But with the other ones, we're having a picture coming and going because we have two IP cameras, both trying to feed their output into the NVR, the output of the screen, but they're conflicting. So how do we overcome this particular problem? Well, we can overcome it in one of two ways. So you can see the status is flicked over and back here, back to green here, although at this point, uh, no second picture has appeared on the screen, it comes and goes. So we can do it one of two ways. Uh, the simplest way to do it is simply to disconnect one of the cameras. So what we'll do is we'll simply go over here and disconnect the, the Ethernet cable, and now we don't have the, the conflict on the system. But a much better way to do it, of course, would be to bring away one of the cameras change the IP address to something that's free. So for instance, we could set it to uh, um, .1.176, for instance. And as long as nothing else in the network is using that IP address, that would be fine. So in a later video in our series, we'll cover the whole topic of how to change the IP address from your PC. Uh, but that's it, anyway. How to add um, IP cameras 
onto your network and also how to resolve the whole issue of uh, IP conflicts.